so you can come into what? Reconciliation. How many of y'all know we need to have a talk? If we're going to reconcile, how many of y'all know we can't reconcile with one another unless we talk to one another, unless we sit down? How many of y'all know folks are still angry and mad because they re they can't come to reconciliate, they can't come to reconcile, they can't come to sit down with each other and talk? And, and let me tell you something. The thing is that if you can't recognize the fact when you are right or when you are wrong, you can't even reconcile with yourself. In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy. I'm, I'm verse 22. Huh? How, how, how you want to present you? How you want to present you? Well, wait a minute. How many of you all know he want to present us just like he is? To present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in where? So when he see you, he want to see you just like he is. Okay, y'all. Somebody say, calm down. Verse 23. If ye continue in faith, grounded and settled, be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I Paul and made a minister. And wait a minute. When you go back to uh, Corinthians chapter 7, Paul said, I made a minister, but guess what? I ain't the only one. I shouldn't be the only minister in this house that is ministering or administering reconciliation. Verse 24. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up with that which is behind of the affliction of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is who? Huh? Oh, okay, so you, if you're in the church, if you're in the place where you ought to be, then you ought to be to the width of being a reconciliator of the truth, right? Go back to go back to Second Corinthians chapter five. Somebody said, Pastor, that's your job. <laughs> well, when I read the scripture, it is my job, but it ain't just my job. How many of you all know he hired some yesterday? He hired some day before yesterday. He hired some last week. He hired, I don't know when you got hired. But if you got hired, then you expect to get paid. But if you expect to get paid, that means you need to do your job, right? So to the wit, God, through Jesus the Christ, reconciled us back to himself, but given us the ministry. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all need to raise your hand. Somebody say, I volunteer this morning, Lord. I volunteer. I, I know my job. He has given us to wit the ministry of reconciliation. Now, how many of us say, well, I'm not going to get in between what they got going on. But in order to get them back, somebody needs to get in between because that's what propitiation means, that Jesus got in between us so we can get back. <laughs> yeah.
to the Father. So he says, God has given you to wit the same ministry of reconciliation. You got your Bible open. And the way he has given it to us is through his what? Through his word. His son is his word. But he has given us the word of reconciliation to bring forth the truth that can bring us back to God in our rightful place. He says, not imputing, come on somebody, come on somebody, come on somebody, I wish I had somebody here this morning, not imputing, not imputing, look, what you did, he took blood ink and wiped it out. Not imputing their trespasses. Uh -huh. Because if they still had trespasses on them, then it means that they can't become reconciled because they're still on the other side of the line. Ooh, we get ready for a celebration, y'all. But if you ain't in Christ, mm -hmm. how are you really going to celebrate Something that you are not a part of. <laughs> Somebody said, well, all of us. No, I'm just saying to you, all of us are not new creatures. Some folk refuse to accept <laughs> Christ as their Savior. So you can't be until you acknowledge that he is Lord. Yes. The Bible says God took Jesus and because we desire to have our open fellowship with God, he took off of us what we had on us and put I wish somebody can go with me here this morning now, now look look. I don't know how heavy yours was but whatever it was he took it off of us put it on him and freed us from what we had on us And I believe this morning you can howl a, a cry out, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now the Bible said that God sent his son to redeem us from the law the curse and whatever it is that we had done and we were all declared guilty. Yeah, yeah. Anybody here this morning? I said we were all declared that we were guilty whatever it is that we were done. How many of you all know that we even now 